Alrighty guys, it is Madman Mundell coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, now um you all remember you know my main cabinet where we put it on a Raspberry Pi in it and stuff, but we're gonna be doing something different with that. Um you know I did a video on the Raspberry Pi 3 B plus and also the new one, which is the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay? And, of course, I happen to have one right here. Okay, now, everybody's like, oh, like, well, what's the big deal about the Pi 4? Well, one thing is for certain, it's got 4 gigs of RAM, where the other one only had one. Okay? Uh, it's got an A75 Cortex processor, which is, you know, pretty cool. Really cool. It's got dual monitor output, okay, using the small uh, micro HDMI to regular HDMI. All right, now... This one here I've been experimenting with, you know, in between RGHs, which I'm doing right now. I'm doing one for my buddy Will. And, um, you know, I just, uh, I got this done uh, a little while ago. And I just wanted to uh, share with you what it could do. All right. Now, um, the thing is that with the Raspberry Pi 4, you know, Raspbian uh, came out with the new Buster uh, Edition, you know, Linux, which runs on it, which is cool. All right. I mean, you know, it's all good. But you see, you know, I have uh, pe people who know me know that I that I used to do a lot of TV stuff. Okay, I mean a whole lot with Dish Network and DirecTV and all that crap, you know. And um, throughout my house, I have little clients, and what I run is I run Cody. Now I was running Myth TV Server. Okay, yeah, um, the tuners I use are silicon dust tuners. Okay, and uh, they're the prime tuners, so you know I've got nine tuners all all uh, you know all hooked up you know to one cable uh, with three cable cards okay so I've got access to nine tuners alright and throughout my house you know I mean it's all wirelessly streamed okay for all my cable TV and all that good stuff and everything else well alright with the new Buster kernel well Buster uh, OS for this thing you know it's in its infancy right now and um, you know and also the people at Ubuntu Mate they're going ahead and they're making a uh, they're making an operating system for this as well. Okay, a guy was uh, the, the the one lead developer was like, well, this should keep me busy for a while. So that's cool because I like Mate. Mate is really good, right? Um, anyway, um, what I did was is you know, I was perusing and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna see how this thing handles Cody. Now, uh, to my surprise, Libra Alec, okay, has been working with the foundation over at Raspberry Pi. Okay, and um, they already got an operating system for this thing. And yes, it, it's, it can, it's got the full 4 gig RAM, too. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I put Libra Elect on it, okay, which is a very light client. Uh, but it's got full Cody on it and everything. And um, we're going to power it up. Okay, and yes, I bought the uh, extended case because I wanted to get the fan in there. Because, you know, I mean, once you start streaming, you know, HD and all that kind of good stuff, you know, it kind of kind of gets the processor a little hot, okay? Now, this thing is happily running at 113 degrees with the little fan and everything, okay? So now what's going to happen is this thing's going to boot up, okay? And it's got a 128 gig SSD card. And as you can see, um, we went ahead and um, we got an addition of Cody on here, okay? And uh, pretty much, uh, as you can see, it's all good to go, all right? It's got everything you need, okay? Yes, <laughs> um, and and then some. Okay, uh, we'll go to system here. Okay, just to show you system information. All right, now as you can see, free memory, three thousand three hundred thirty-four. Okay, there's the IP address. Now it's importing the guide from my uh, silicon dust tuners. All right, uh, and and of course it's cached and it's got a PVR service. As you can see, system CPU usage right here. You know, I mean. 8.3. I mean, you know, it's very, very minimal. Okay. Uh, it'll spike when, when it's doing the background uploads and stuff like that and downloads, you know, because uh, this thing checks for updates and all that kind of good stuff. I'm using AN Knox uh, Silvo Edition. Okay. And um, as I said, I love this 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 edition of uh, Cody. And with Libra Elect, you've seen how fast it booted up and everything. It's really quick. All right. So we're going to get out of this here. All right, and uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, this is the interface and all that kind of good stuff right here. 
As you can see, you got your tools, your favorites, all that kind of good stuff. You got the, you got Magic Dragon movies, live TV, networks, more TV shows, movies. Yeah, we can go to, uh, let's see here, we can go to movies. And it'll bring up a list. Yeah, there's like, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff like Falcon Reborn. That's a, that, that, that's a good stream site right there. Um, it's got a load of movies on it. Um, just like Exodus, just like Magic Dragon, all of them. They all have loads and loads and loads of uh, movies that you could watch and everything. As you can see, there, there you go, Movie Vault. Just go to the vault, and then what's going to happen is going to pick it up. Yep, there. In theaters? Yes, does in theaters. There's movies out there. People like to pirate. <laughs> but we aren't going to show them because I don't do things like that. I'm just showing you what you can do, okay? Yeah. Message me later. <laughs> okay? Anyway, uh, yeah. So, you know, you got movies by Jenner, okay? Oh, uh, let's see here. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll go to in theater. Let's see what it pulls up. Let's see what happens. And uh, this, of course, it's got uh, 5 gigahertz. There you go. It's processing the metadata. Cool. All right. There you go. That presents Hobbs. And, yeah. As you can see, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that just, that, 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 that's been out for a while, too. Good boys. Yeah, that's still in theaters. Yeah, Red Shoes and Seven Dwarves. Rocket Man. Mm-hmm. Aladdin, The Secret Life of Pets 2. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. You know. All kinds of good stuff like that, okay? Um, yeah. 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 Like I said, message me later. Anyway, um, yeah, so as you can see. Now, um, look. Like, as for, let's see here. Live TV, okay? Just to show you what it can do here. All right. Here's my guide. All right, now this is all streamed through HD Home Run. I'm using HD Home Run uh, DVR service, and what I'm using is I'm using the Zuki plugin. It is an aftermarket plugin. It is not uh, HD Home Runs plugin. They use a, a slice type. It doesn't give you a guide like this, and it's like I hate it. Okay, as much as as much as I love silicon dust tuners, they need to work on their interface. Okay, but anyway, as you can see, there you go. It's got all the channel logos and everything. And just to show you, um, let's see here. Like, uh, like let's say, uh, yeah. Here you go. We can go to uh, Motor Trend. Okay, yeah. We'll hit that. Yes, and we can record, we can pause, we can do all that kind of good stuff. As you can see, beautiful picture. Oh, and by the way, this is 4K, okay? So this thing is, uh, you know, it's rocking. It really is. And, uh, yeah, you can pause it. You can play. You can, uh, you know, you can also hook a remote to a regular remote, remote control for it, so that way then you, you don't have to use a keyboard or anything like that. But uh, you can rewind 2X back. See what I'm saying? Hit play. Advantage of the there you go. Time offer. You know, uh, and as you can see, there you are. You know, no problems there. And, uh, you know, I mean, it works great. Uh, you know, switching channels, no big deal. Discover channel, there you go. Pulls it right up. Beautiful picture. As I said, this is on a crappy little ViewSonic monitor. All right, so, you know, I mean, it's got a lot of potential, this thing. It is just an amazing little client. And to think how small it is, I mean, look at that. That is freaking tiny. Unbelievably tiny, okay? Um, and, you know, with Libra Elect, it's great because, I mean, I, I mean, you got everything that you could ever want in that. You know, I mean, and, you know, it, it's just, it, it goes on and on and on. And, and, and there's so much, there's so many Cody builds out there that you can download and you could turn Cody into this, this kind of stuff right here. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Ugh, no, don't want that. Anyway, lots of good stuff um, with this. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, it's a great, great little computer. For a credit card size computer, I mean, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, let's see here. Hardware. Yeah. CPU temperature. 104 degrees. That's it. You know? I mean, so... You know, it, it, yeah, and it, that's my PVR service right there, and there's my API HD Home Run. And we're using Zeke, uh, the Zuki PVR HD Home Run DVR. You know, that's a client right there. You know, and, it, you know, it's got it's got record. You, you know, you can record different shows and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Storage-wise, yeah, like I said, 112, uh, 128 gig. 
you know, it's only using 368.2 meg, you know, 511.7 meg total, okay, you know, I mean, for the OS, which is, you know, absolutely wonderful, uh, video, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz full screen, OpenGL vendors, Broadcom on this, you know, so it's OpenGL, yes, and it's using Mesa, so, you know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's great, I, I mean, it really is, it's, it's a really, really nice little machine, I paid, I think, a grand total of, like, 60 or 70 bucks for it, with, for the 4 gig version, and, uh, you know, I had to buy the power supply separately, and of course, you got to buy an adapter, okay, to adapt uh, the HDMI, because it has two, it's got two outputs, so you can put, you can hook two monitors to it, and you can run full, full OS on it if you want. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a little clue in on this, and uh, I just figured I'd share it with you. Like I said, it works great, you know, I mean, Raspberry Pi 4, it's really, really a very, really great little microcomputer. I, uh, you know, I full, whole, wholeheartedly recommend it. If you're into doing stuff like this, or even even if you want a portable little Linux system, this is the way to go, man. It's just unbelievable. So, you know, I mean, to get that all on that, I'm pretty impressed. It's got Bluetooth, too. So, you know, anyway, you all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later. i got to get back to RGH, and you all have a good one.